Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Kanika this side from Handmade by Kanika. And in this video we shall be talking about the dress my craft sequences and how to use them and later in this video I shall be showing how you can create this photo frame using the dress my craft product. So let's get started. So here are some of the sequences which I have with me in different packaging. So I'll just quickly start with the first one. This is the sea breeze sequence. and here you can see these come with the transparent packaging and it has this seal for protection on the top dress my craft sequences come in two different types of packaging that is the 8 gram and 25 gram so this is the 25 gram packaging now i'll just quickly take it out and show it how this one looks like so it has got a blend of circles stars in the shades of blue Moving on to the next sequence this is the white sunshine sequence and it is pure white sequence so i'll just quickly open it up and show how this one looks like also don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't and turn on the bell notification so you never miss an update from us so this is how the white sequence looks like it has a blend of circle and squares all these sequence are in white color So the next sequence which we have is blossom with green sequence it is green colored sequence and these sequence are so amazing i just love the blend of these sequence and you can use them in all of your projects so this sequence is a blend of circles squares and stars The next one which I have is the strong tropical confetti sequence. This is a pastel look sequence perfect for your baby projects or on pastel theme. It's got different shades like white, yellow, green, pinks, blues. So it is a blend of all the colors. So here is one of the projects which I recently created and this is where I used the sequences. the gis one so the next one which i have is the sunshine yellow sequence so this is the blend of circles and squares the best part about these sequences are you can even make your own sequences by mixing two or three of them and create your own so the next one is this pink pastel sequence So it has got beautiful shades of pinks be it baby pink or hot pink it has got so many elements like the flowers the circles and the squares in these sequences i had created another project which you have seen in my previous video here you can see i created this envelope so next sequence here is the little heart sequence this is again the pastel shade hearts these are in the white baby pink and red color these are perfect for your love theme or baby theme project so the next sequence which i have with me is this golden black sequence this has a beautiful blend of black and gold and you can see circles hearts as well as some floral design the next one which i have is this hug me sequence this is a blend of blues and pinks so that's a blend of blues pinks and it has transparent sequence as well Moving on to the next one. This is the mini packaging of the sequence. This one is the red heart sequence. So the next one is this. This is the warm red sequence, and this is again the mini packaging of the dress my craft sequences. So the last one which I have is the shabby chick sequence, and this is perfect for your. projects and i am sure you would love these sequences so now quickly let's start with the tutorial so here i am going to take smooth black cardstock from dress my craft of 1200 gsm for the base 
next i'll be using the whimsical hues 12 by 12 collection pack and i'll be using this paper this particular paper for creating the boundary and the window so this is how the sheet looks like and i have already trimmed off as per my size and i have created the window as well and then i just distressed its edges now i'll just simply adhere this out but before that i'm using this white cardstock for the base and i'll just place this white cardstock onto the black cardstock and then onto that i'll place the whimsical hue sheet using my ergo bone folder from dress my craft i'll be pressing the edges so that the card stock gets sticked very well together now i have this picture and on to this picture i'll be creating the shaker using the dress my craft sequences With the help of my ergo bone folder, I'll be pressing it down so that it gets sticked very well. Now, using the acetate sheet from Dress My Craft, I'll be creating this transparent window. supplies used in this video you can check out the description box as the link are mentioned so you can directly click and buy these items now i'll be using the dress my craft double sided 3d foam tape and i'll adhere on the inner as well as the outer side It's time to add the sequences so here I am going to take the hug me sequence as it goes perfectly with the photograph then I'll be using in my heart sequence next I'm going to use the pink pastel sequence so here you can see how easily I blended out the three sequences as per my theme and they go very well with the project you can also use the single sequences but I wanted more colors and more variations so I just blended three sequences together now simply I'm adding this onto the base and tada our shaker is ready now I'm going to add on some flowers as well as some die cuts from my stash to make it look complete and more beautiful. So for that I'm going to use first of all this motif sheet which is from Dress My Craft in my heart and I have cut, I have fussy cut these motifs already. And then I just added on these die cuts from Dress My Craft. This is the flower making and cutting dies foliage and leaves number six. This is a set of two dies, so I have used one of them here. Next, I have used this classic doily die from Dress My Craft itself and created this beautiful frame. To finish it off, here I have this sentiment from the motif sheets from Dress My Craft and which I have cut using the banner punch and I'll simply place it over onto my frame and tada I hope you enjoyed this tutorial see you soon until next time till then happy crafting